Um, let me just check. Oops, I got to put it through a link in. Hold on one moment. Um, Draw your knees into your chest. <sighs> and give them a circle. And switch directions. Hold on to the front of the right shin. Send up your left leg straight up to the ceiling. And start to flex and point your left foot. And as you do this, take a look at your foot and notice if it's pronating or supinating, if it's angled strangely. And just if that's enough is simply to notice it will probably shift it to center. Notice if the knee is bent and you don't, you didn't mean it to be and see if you can lengthen it out. Notice if it's tightness in the front or the back that's creating that bend. In my case, it's the back. So I'm gonna try to open the knee from the back, which is, at least for my body, not, it doesn't like to do that. And then keeping the leg as straight as you can, that knee open, flex the foot, dorsiflex, and extend the heel up toward the ceiling. Reach your head back toward the back of the room. And then try to relax your shoulders and your jaw. Keeping that strong dorsiflexion, begin to extend your left leg to the front of the room and bring that leg to hover just above the ground. Interlace your hands behind your head, lift your head up and bring your left elbow to your right knee. Keep extending your left leg straight out and twist, pushing your knee into your elbow and vice versa, contract there. Draw both knees to tabletop, squeeze the legs together and then twist, extend your right leg out straight. Press your right elbow into your left knee and knee to elbow, create a contraction. Flex that right foot. Inhale back to tabletop, squeeze. Exhale, twist. Inhale, squeeze the center. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, stay here. Bring your hands to the front of the right shin, lower your left leg, bring your head. Head down to the floor. <coughs> Pull your right knee in close to your chest and circle your right knee. Hold the front of the right shin, draw the right knee toward the right shoulder, smooth down your body with your left hand. Notice if anything feels sore or strange and soothe that with the palm of your hand. Bring your right knee into the midline and twist across. Bring your knee over your body, right arm out to the side. Turn your gaze to the right and melt your shoulders. Roll the outer right hip away from you, extend through your left toes, and really feel that the length of your whole body. With your left hand, smooth down your right waist, your right hip. Out during yoga. Notice if there's any strange tension. And then circle that right arm down all the way around and track your hand with your eyes so that your head turn, follow the right hand. And when it reaches to the back right corner, you're on a nice diagonal, extend that diagonal line, reach farther through that right hand and look back with your eyes to the back right corner of the room. And hold your gaze there, face is, face is still, but the eyes move them more to the right and more up. And see if that can trigger a yawn. Ah. 
and then reach through your right arm, roll to your back. And ah, just let all the gifts of that vagal nerve reset move through your body, telling your body everything's okay. You might even feel a jolt of energy or perhaps the opposite. It's sort of adaptogenic. If you needed more calm, it'll give you more calm. If you needed more energy, it'll give you more energy. And circle your knees again. You might be able to breathe a little better. You might notice a breath response of some kind. And then bring your hands around the front of your left shin with the awkward lacing and send your right foot straight up to the ceiling and start to flex and point that foot. Give it a glance with your eyes and notice the foot's alignment. And without much effort on your part, you might be able to straighten that foot if it were distorted simply through observation. It tends to self-correct. Notice if the knee is slightly bent and maybe you need that, maybe it's just a habit of tension and you can open the knee more. Keeping that knee open if possible, dorsiflex that right foot and relax your shoulders. Relax the front of the neck. That tension is so sneaky. And really spread those toes. Start to lower that right leg as you extend through the foot. And when it gets just above the ground, take your head up off the floor and bring your right elbow to your left knee. The hands are interlaced behind the head, supporting, cradling it. Inhale to the center, squeeze the legs. Exhale, twist. Inhale to the center. Exhale, twist. Now, if you'd like to make this a little harder, extend both legs to hover above the floor. Draw the right knee in, left elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. So rather going through table or going through straight hollow body, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen out, or you could go back to that tabletop variation. Twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So I'm pausing in the center with two straight legs and then drawing from there, really using my deep belly as I go. Five more each side, five and four, four and three and three and two and two and one and one. Hug both your knees, lower your head, hug them into your chest. Reach up for the ankles or the feet taking a very easy version of happy baby, not going too deeply if you're, have, if you're tight in this area, bend the knees and find resistance between your feet and hands or hands and ankles, whatever you're holding on to. And the feet are flexed and actively pressing toward the ceiling. What's important and why I'm holding higher up the leg is because I want my low back on the floor. It tends, that tailbone tends to over curl here. Can you even imagine having a little arch in your lower back and that low, that whole spine is resting on the ground and I'm rocking side to side and a little bit of tension to help open the inner thighs. You can even press sort of like malasana, pressing the inner knees into the elbows and vice versa. And then we'll let your arms come out from it, from in there. Squeeze your legs together, adduction, and rock up to um, kind of like a resting boat. My feet are on the floor, my legs are together. Bring your hands together, interlace them into a fist, and pull them into your solar plexus. Actually, let's leave the feet on the ground. Now, the reason I'm being cautious here is it can end up in the low back. So it, Knit your ribs together, pull your belly and lift the head. And then we're going to twist right and left. Can you feel the rib cage lifting up and twisting from that midsection rather than the low back? So it's as if the low back could stay still, the hips are still, like when we do seated chair twist. 
Now, if you'd like, pick the feet up and keep going. My legs are still bent, kind of edging toward a tabletop. Five each side. Four, three, two, one, and center. We're going to take it back down into those bicycles, elbow to knee. You can go through the legs extended or use tabletop as your center. And we'll do 10 each side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now, can you hold that hollow position? Hands under the head, legs out straight, legs hovering, suck your belly down, hollow out your front body. So you're scooped out like a gourd, hold here like a canoe for three, reach through your toes, back through your head. If you want, reach your arms back, it makes it even harder too. And one, relax down. <sighs> Take a moment, recover, and then bend your knees, place your feet flat on the floor, arch your lower back, and then press imprint spine into the floor. Roll your pelvis forward and imprint your spine. Do this a few more times, separating the pelvis from the thighs, rolling the pubic bone forward, and imprinting the spine. You may have some cracks and pops here or nothing. Press your low back into the floor, hold that imprint, and feel the tailbone is tucked pretty uh, quite a bit. And then press through the feet, raise your hips up off the floor. Don't tuck your shoulders under just yet. Turn your head right and left, let the neck be loose. And we're going to pulse here 10 little scoops up with the buttocks, engaging them. Eight, seven, six, five, shoulders down, four, three, two, one. Now leave it up there, tiny little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, belly squeezes flat, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Raise your arms up overhead, reach them to the back of the room, keep squeezing your buttocks, keep your hands relaxed, and then come down upper, middle, lower back, arms come down by your side. Inhale here. As you exhale, hips go up, arms go back. Inhale here. Exhale, slow down, slow down one vertebra at a time. Hands come to the floor for the whole extent of the exhale. Lower back rolls off the ground. We'll take this one up on an inhale. Imprint your spine, tailbone tucks. Inhale all the way up. Hands go back behind you. Exhale slowly all the way down. One vertebra at a time. Hands coordinated with the breath. Tailbone rolls forward. Lower back arches. Imprint the spine. Inhale, come up. Okay, we're gonna stay here. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Draw your right knee into your chest. Raise your right leg to the ceiling or keep that leg bent. Lower and lift, use your left glute. You don't go all the way to the ground, but almost 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Really feel that left leg. Left hamstring, that back chain, turning on three, two, one. Oof, bring her down slowly. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Reach behind that left hamstring and pull in. With your right elbow, press and release the lever of the right thigh. So push it away and let it come back. Push away and let it return. Do this a few times. It was like an old typewriter hitting that return thing. 
Remember that thingy? <laughs> That was a long time ago. I don't know why that came to mind. And now, with your right hand, take the palm of the hand, press the leg away, but push the leg into the hand. So the leg now resists, as if that bar were stuck. The leg pushes into the hand and vice versa. Keep the face soft. And let that tension go. Slide the right leg into an eagle variation. Whatever you can do here, maybe the ankle wraps around the left shin, calf, maybe it doesn't. Open your arms out to a T, breathe across the chest. Turn your palms to face the floor, jog your hips over to the right a bit. Slowly, squeezing the legs together, start to drop the knees toward the left. Let them hover. Don't bring them all the way to the ground. Roll your right hip away from the waistline so that you're really having to hold the legs up with your core. Squeeze left leg into right leg. Swoosh the legs back to the center. Hips move over to the left. Slow drop toward the right. Slowly. Out, ooh, nice pop there. Outer left hip rolls away from the waist by left shoulder stays pinned down. Knees, feet, hover. Hang here, make your core do the work. Squeeze bottom leg into top leg and draw back to the middle. Jog your hips to the right, slow drop toward the left. Keep squeezing the midline, right shoulder pinned to the floor. Oh, squeeze the legs on an exhale, bring it to center. Shift your hips to the left. Drop the knees toward the right. Hopefully you didn't have a big breakfast. Squeeze your legs. Left shoulder pinned. On an exhale, bring it back up to the middle. Center it and scoop your right arm under your left arm. Palms come together or they don't, right? This doesn't work for all shoulders. If it doesn't work for you, hold your opposite shoulder with your hands. Knees move forward. Elbows move back. Exhale, bring them together. We'll do 10 crunches here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze elbow to knees, knees to elbows. Squeeze that belly. Soften your beautiful face. And let her go. Release it. Oh, hug your knees in. So those are supposedly very good, not just for core and the brain, very good for the brain, but also for a reproductive system, getting fresh blood in there. Good if you're in a new relationship or your old relationship is going well and there's a lot of sexual activity, I'll just say it, um, supposed to be helpful. I hope so. Hold your ankles, elbows to the inner knees, or hold your feet in again. Happy baby. Pressing feet towards ceiling. Rolling out that tailbone. So we're opening up that low back and strengthening the core while we're here. All of this making us stronger. And if you're holding, well, really wherever you're holding, you can massage the inner line of the leg. So the um, Oh, there's a really good detox point we want right here. The right where your calf is, where your calf begins on the inside of the leg. This is kidney nine. Give that a good rub. This is mind body detox. And it helps bring fluids to the body. Excellent, excellent point for us right now. All right. And then hug your knees to your chest. We're going to rock back up to that that safe boat. So feet are on the floor, legs are together. Hold opposite shoulder for now. Draw, knit your ribs together, lift through the head. Um, okay, good. And you're gonna punch left hand to a uh, left hand, left fist to the right. Bring your right hand back to your waist. So the position is right hand at my waist, left arm on a diagonal, and then punch across the other way with fists. So the fist at the waist turns up, the fist going forward turns down, 
But if that's too much to coordinate, you don't worry about it. Now see if you can squeeze your belly, knit those ribs, and as you twist, feel that power. And you may blow out your lips to really feel that compression in the belly, that engagement. If you want, lift the feet. And we'll do 10 each side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We slow it down a bit. Two and one. Go halfway down. Pause there. Bring your legs up into tabletop. Squeeze the thighs together. Take your hands behind your head. Pause. Scoop out the belly. Right. We we'll go back to those bicycles. Right elbow to left knee. Either go through hollow body or go through tabletop in the middle. We'll do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hollow body here, both legs out straight if you can, or hold table, reach your arms back or keep holding the head, hold here, five, scoop out your front, four, three, get longer, two, and drop down into a pal. Ah, just let your body rest for a moment. And then bend your legs come into that bridge shape. Roll your tailbone forward, arching the lower back. Press your lower back imprint in the spine. Now start to roll that pelvis uh, through the clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, and go the other direction. You can, you're just moving the pelvis which is a whole different mindset, whole different level of concentration. And you'll notice, it, well, for me anyway, the side where I typically have pain is the side that is difficult to do. It may be the opposite for you. Just take note, interesting information. And then once you've gone all the way around one more time, center it and we'll raise the buttocks up. Resist uh, bringing your shoulders under, but you can hold the mat if you want something to do with your hands. Relax the front and sides and back of your neck. Little pulses with the bum here. 10, nine, eight. Now squeeze your toes, crunch up the mat with your toes as well, especially the first and second. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze your toes. Keep the butt there. Super tiny little squeezes. 10. Keep your toes all wrinkled up. Eight, seven, six, five. Belly flat. Four, three, two, one. Relax your feet. Bring them a little bit closer together. Raise your left knee up. Stretch your left leg all the way up or keep the knee bent. Focus on that right butt and hamstring. 10 pulses. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You're lowering and lifting, not all the way down, but somewhat. Four, three, two. Hold it there. Just squeeze the heck out of that right side. Plant your left foot down. Raise both buttocks all the way up. Raise your heels. Lower your heels. Raise your toes. Lower your toes, squeeze the mat with them, raise your heels, pulsing with the high heels at least six inches, 10, nine, get that lower butt, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one, calm down. Whew. Pause here as you roll your low back away from the floor. A nice little arch. Press your low back into the floor. Bring your legs up into table. Cross your left ankle over your right knee and pull in. 
gentle figure four, maybe rocking a little bit, whatever you need, turning the head, tuning into breath. And then with your arm, you're pushing and releasing that left hip away from you, that left inner groin away and then letting it just recoil back. So it's a natural response, pushing it away and rebounding back. Now take your hand and push hand into leg, leg into hand, get that isometric contraction going, flexing at the ankles. Push as hard as you can into that isometric contraction, five, four, three, get it, two, one, let it relax, wind the leg into an eagle, arms open to a T, shift your hips to the left, drop your knees toward the right, nice and slowly, they will hover, roll your outer left hip away from you, now squeeze those obliques toward the midline, not the legs, just the obliques, and squeeze the legs together, Draw the knees to the center, shift your hips to the right, drop the knees over toward the left. Again, slowly, right shoulder pins to the floor, outer right hip rolls away from you. Can you bring your focus to your waistline and squeeze it? Oh, squeeze that center. Upper, squeeze the legs to the middle, shift the hips to the left, knees toward the right, in the left shoulder, roll outer left hip away, squeeze that waist, and back to the center, hips jog over to the right, knees toward the left, roll outer right hip, squeeze the legs to the center, and bring them in, wind your left arm under the right, or hold opposite shoulder, move knees and elbows apart, Exhale to close it up. We'll do 10 more. 10, nine, exhale every time you come up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give it a hold here. Elbows to knees, knees to elbows. Hold it, squeeze the tummy and unwrap it. Nice job, you guys, yay. You're all here, hug your knees in. Give yourself a few moments just to take all that power in. The breath. And I feel like we missed a twist, so let's go back and get it. Right leg out straight, left knee to chest, left arm out to the side. Turn your head to the left. Look out over that left shoulder. Roll that outer left hip away. Circle that left arm down. All the way around, track it with your eyes. As you circle it, we're tracking the hand. So get up, around, and this time when you get to that left diagonal, reach that left arm in that direction. Look back to the left, stretch your eyes up and back to the left as far as they'll go, and hold them there. Part of that vagal nerve reset, we do with the eyes. And it may cause a yawn, that'd be great, or a swallow or a blink, some kind of nervous system discharge, you'll notice. Or you won't, because it may be a little stuck. And then reach to your left arm and roll to your back. Hallelujah. Rock all the way up. Great job, you guys. Come forward onto the hands and knees. Spin your hands to six o'clock. So your fingers face back. Inhale, arch your back, look all the way up. Exhale, round, look into the belly button. Inhale, up. Open the shoulders, stretch the front of the neck. Exhale, round. Turn the hands 12 o'clock. Walk the knees back a little bit. We're going to contract the arms as we do this. We're going to bend the elbows, scoop the chest through. Inhale to that cow. Exhale, bend the elbows. It's like a weird little push up, like we were a robot dog, up into that cat. Bend the elbows, squeeze them toward midline as you lift up. Exhale, thread the body through. 
and come forward into that cat. A couple more times, moving through cat cow with those bent elbows. So it's sort of drama. And exhale, Elena, see if you can do it with your knees closer. So it's less scoopy, more muscle. You wanna use the triceps here. Good. Good job. And then come down onto the forearms. Walk your feet back, come into forearm plank. Press back through your heels and push down through the wrists. Reach forward through the head. Scoop your tailbone under and widen your upper back. Point both heels up at the ceiling or sky. Tummy knitted in, ribs knitted in. And now take that upper chest, those collarbones slightly forward. Pulse your feet, pedal your feet through the toes and through the heels. Moving forward and back, 10, nine, eight. Squeeze your thighs together, feel your buttocks. Four, three, two, one. Hold center, drop your heels if you can to the right. You may need to bend the knees. Inhale to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right, dropping the hips. Move at your own pace, five each side. Five, four, four, three, three, two, and one. Come to center, lower the knees, push all the way back to an extended child pose. Arms are forward, armpits are scooped deeply. Come up onto your fingertips so you can really scoop those armpits into deep, great root like holes. Push through your fingers and send your buttocks even deeper as long as it doesn't hurt, hurt you. If it does, back off. Pull with the fingers, which will move your chest slightly forward. Feel the lengthening of the front body. And then flat your palms up that bring you forward. Tuck your toes and glue your armpits with your inner arm. So your inner upper arm kind of melds or welds itself onto the armpit, sealing it, and pick up your knees. Feet are tucked up, toes are tucked under. Pull knees toward wrists, wrists toward knees, tummy in, hold. I'm just hovering. Five, four, contract your glutes. Three, two, and stretch it out. Down dog. Comes as a relief. Push through your hands. Suck up your armpits. Lift through your sits bones. Turn the head to so release tension there. Letting go. Ah, breathe in the air. Let your fingers get long. Knit your ribs. Widen your back. And then go ahead, walk yourself slowly, tiny little steps forward to the top of your space. Bring your toes together, bend the knees, half lift, shoulder blades squeeze together, buttocks back. Exhale, fold over the legs, let them hold your torso, rest here. Turn the head, hang, let your troubles go. Squeezing the big toes a little bit and releasing them. Pulsing your toes, five. Ripping them out of the ground, four. And releasing three. Two, getting power through those toes, one. And come up, lift through the chest, reverse swan dive. Reach through your fingers, look up to the sky. Your bolt of lightning, powerful light. Exhale, fold forward, extend your fingers out to the sides of your space, drop down. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, step left and right foot to plank, hold. Bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Look all the way toward the back of your space. Exhale, up and back, down dog. Gaze is between the feet. Organize your shape and then get still. The movement is through the breath, breathing through the nose. 
Gently contracting the throat muscles, finding that gorgeous rhythm, that musicality. Sharon, your back looks so, your arms look perfect. Hi, TJ. Oh no, that's Declan. Oh my God. Oh my God. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or jump forward to your hands. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold and drop your head. Inhale, rise up. Crystal's kids are just home from camp. Lift up and exhale, fold forward. Crystal and Joelle have on the same pants. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, step back, sort of right and left, and so do I. Right and left foot back, plank, and low push up. Inhale, glide through, open your chest. Exhale, back, good, Elena, down dog. Excellent, good, Taylor. Nice, Karen, find your way. Joelle, knit those ribs in. Elena, right elbow, I'm on that right elbow. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Breathe through the nose. Let the head go. Don't have to know anything. Let it be empty. Let it clean itself out. Just let it be a ref big reflective quartz crystal. Inhale, lift your heart. Bend the knees, walk or jump, traveling forward. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, flush it out, let it go. Good, inhale, scoop it up, reach to the sky. Good, use your feet, raise those arms up. Let's take a little back bend on the elbows, raise the heart. Mm -hmm. Inhale, stretch the arms back up, very nice. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step left and right foot back, plank. Low push up. Inhale, glide through, look all the way back towards your butt. Exhale, nice, downward dog, very good. Enjoy this. Feel your strong core. We really woke it up this morning. And let your limbs uh, be the beneficiaries of that strong core. The limbs can just stretch out. Really nice. Inhale, raise your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, travel forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, raise the arms up. Good, squeeze your buttocks together. Uh -huh. Take the knees just the tiniest bit apart to engage those upper thighs a little more. And then prayer the hands to the heart, left elbow, outside of right leg. If it hurts your back, you can put a block or a pillow between the legs. It does wonders. Even out the legs, pulling that left knee, in most cases, back left hip. If you want to open the arms up, go for it. If it doesn't feel good, don't. Listen to your body here. Do listen to your body. Turn the ribs like we did in those Russian twists. Turn the ribs, very nice. Please look down to the earth, get grounded, step back with your left foot. So you're in a same twist, but now you're in a lunge. The left foot is back, the right leg is forward, and the arms can be in prayer or left hand can be at the floor, ground, right arm at sky. Move your left shoulder blade onto your back so you're strong. Very good, very, very good, good. Bring the hands down on either side of your front foot and step forward with your back foot. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, let it go. Very good. Move the head about, widen your stance a little bit for balance and grab your big toes with the first, second fingers. Make a hook with the thumb, so latch it with the thumb. Inhale, bend the knees and pull the heart forward into that half lift shape, moving front body forward. Mm, collarbones widen here. There are two acupoints there that you're getting simply through that movement and breath. Exhale, fold and bend the elbows. Kidney 27, it's the end of that kidney meridian and it 
brings a lot of calm into the nervous system and a lot of vitality into the body. Bend those elbows. Show, um, uh, too well. Pull in those toes and then widen your elbows like two little, like, yes. And then good. And then shoulders move up the back, shoulder blades. Good. And good. Taylor, if you can, let the head go. Mm -hmm. And the more you tuck the chin, the more you get to engage the core. Good, good. And then release the toes. Nice, guys. And then bring your feet all the way together. Bend your knees, come into chair, arms up. Mm -hmm. Good. Relax the jaw, the tongue. Beautiful. Hands come to prayer. Let's go the other way. Right elbow outside of left leg. Right knee and right hip tries to stay back. In those Russian twists, we tried to keep it above the hips. Same here, but it's harder. Open the arms if you want to. And turn the ribs. Can you feel that bottom oblique? It's the right one turning on. Yeah, beautiful. Look down to your space and step back with your right foot. As many steps or one big step back, good. Good, and it's tempting to come out of that left hip. Can you not? Can you just double down, go deeper into that left buttock, pulling that left glute on, glute med, glute min. Open the arms up as you wish. Right shoulder blade on the back, left arm high. Go into that left butt. Go in there, let it bite a little bit. Yes, turn, yes. This time we're gonna step back, bring the left hand down, step back, plank, left foot back, left hand down, plank it up. Good, 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 good. Spin your heels left, right arm high. Modify as needed. You could do it on the forearms too, or stagger the feet. Gorgeous. Plank, and the other side. Gorgeous. Knit the ribs, hips are under, feel that power in the center. Plank, well done. Low push up. Inhale, glide on through. Look back, look back with love, not anger. Exhale back down, we're dog. Or anger, whatever's in there, whatever's real. Dylan Thomas, sit up. Sits bones high, back wide. Elena, forearms squeezing in to, to see what those arms can really do there. Yes. Yes, look what they can do. A lot, yeah, yeah. Joelle, power in that center. Let's find the core. Knit those ribs. Lift the body. Lift that butt back. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Travel forward. Good, good. All of you, beautiful. Inhale, lift the heart. Flush it out, let the head go so much. Let that head go, please. Let it empty out. Take your feet at least a foot apart so you have good balance. And then take your hands. Oh, no, Lena, widen the feet. Take the hands, slide them under your feet. Padahastasana, hands under the feet. Walk up until you hit the wrist creases. Inhale, look up. So you're getting a little back bend. And then exhale, fold, melt down. Let the head go hang. There's like that fun interplay between squeezing the hands and with the feet and finding the oppositional force with the wrists. And if we do it, if we catch it just right, we get that massage in the wrists. We get that space in the carpal tunnel space there, which can be so brutal. It's said that we the anger gets trapped in the wrists or love gets trapped in the wrists. So a lot of stuff gets trapped there. A lot of emotions. We want to let it flow through the hands. Um, let this be therapeutic for whatever reason. And then slide the hands out from under there. Toe heel your feet together. And inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold down, let it go. Gorgeous. Roll up carefully, safely for your body. One vertebra at a time goes slow like a zombie unfurling. Uh huh. Roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale the arms out and up, lightening upward toward the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Softly bend your knees. Eagle right side. Right leg lifts up and around. 
right elbow comes under the left or hold opposite shoulders. Bend the standing leg and find balance. Elbows move up away from the knees like they did at the top of our crunch pose. And the legs squeeze and we, we crease at the hips to go deeper into the seat of the pose without collapsing core. Squeeze back arm into front and front leg into back to feel that core activation. Keep the core on as you fold forward. Try not to let it be a collapse as much as an intentional engagement. Stunning. Please unwind your top leg, take it into flying eagle, send that right leg back, elbows soar forward. You're a coasting eagle flying here. That back leg is in the air. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Unravel your arms, reach them back behind you or hands to the floor for balance. Let's bring the hands down to the earth. I think everyone wants that. Reach your top leg up to the sky. Let the head drop low. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shake out any tension. Well done. Step back, warrior two, please. Right foot takes a big jog back. Left foot is forward. Hold up there. Good. Get your feet underneath you. You've landed your eagle. Reach forward with your left arm. Flip the left palm. Reverse warrior here. Reverse bird. Landed eagle. Breathe into that left side. Give it a lot of love. A lot of breath. Spaciousness. Bend that left knee. Is it the right knee? It's different knees for each of you somehow. Just keep track and cartwheel it down, plank it up. Low push up, inhale, upward facing, stretch the throat. Let's take a child's pose here, let it go. <laughs> Crystal either said a swear word at me or said thank you, but either way, she meant it with love, felt it, felt you, felt it. Breathe into your back. Oh, I miss people swearing at me in class. That was, that was, that was fun. Breathe into your back body. Forehead soft. Deep creases in your hips. Feeling the beauty of your own warmth, the, your own blood circulating through your body. Flow through your lips. Ah, and send your arms forward. Feel ready, feel, feel more alive as you kind of grow yourself like a chia pet into down dog. So give yourself a little watering, a little more breath, and then grow yourself up. Feel the elongation of limbs, the animation of every single cell as it's coming online to the motherboard of your heart brain the meridians and chakras opening and flowing, circulation helping all the energy, anything that was stagnant is now moving, bringing you to greater health. Inhale, raise your heels, exhale, bend the knees, fly or walk forward to your hands. We move as we can. Inhale, lift the heart, grateful for whatever we can do. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Gentle chair, bending the knees, raising the arms up, Thunder to go with our lightning. Strong here, tummy strong. Pelvic floor lifted, little Kegel lifts, just four or five. Squeeze those Kegel muscles. Five, four. You can thank Joelle for all these three. <laughs> Two. Gotta keep it healthy, gotta keep it alive. And then <laughs> left arm, left leg, eagle, left arm under eagle. So eagle it up, left leg around. Left arm under, left leg over. I'll get those words out any day now. And send the hips back, elbows high, Elena. Squeeze, fight for it. Shift your left hip back, right hip forward. 
squeeze those legs together. We're going for, for that tourniquet for the um, first chakra. We want to, once we release it, we get that gift of blood. So now feel the contraction in the belly, in those obliques, and keep it as you move forward, flying your elbows down toward your knees. Right, right. Hiding from the wind eagle, crouching into the nest. And then unravel your left leg. You're going to go flying. Send it back. Soar your elbows forward, moving across those canyons. Flying eagle. Breathing here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The point is not to hold the pose. It's to experience the balance and the challenge of balance, which freaking is challenging. Undo the arms, send them back. Let yourself fly. And then bring the hands to the ground as needed. Left leg up. Send it up. Stretch it up. Let the head go. The resistance in the foot is commensurate with the head. Let the head go. The foot will lift. Step way back, warrior two. Ah, oh, that's right, Joelle. Good, good, good. <laughs> I don't know how you did that on the first side. And level the hips. Squeeze the hips, the hips, the hips together. Outer hip muscles compress in. Reach forward with that front hand and reverse warrior. Good. Go on back. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's interesting. The two New Yorkers are very open in this pose. I wonder why. Reach back on that right side. Elena, project your right rib cage into a bow more, but like a cello bow, cello bow, bow strings, those right ribs more, right ribs more. Good. Cartwheel the hands to the ground, plank. Shift your heels to the right, take the left arm up, modify as needed. Beautiful. If you want to lift that left leg up any way you want, tree or grab the big toe and extend the leg up to the sky or anything, just being alive here is really good, a huge accomplishment. Usually I'm so happy just to show up and then the hand comes down and go to the other side. Uh huh. Make it your own, play with whatever variation calls you here whatever inspires you, inspire to take in breath and plank, lower knees, chest, chin, snake it through to a cobra. Make it that, that slinky cobra pose, gorgeous, and bring it all the way down. Rest your head on the pile of your hands, bend your knees and windshield wipe your feet from left to right, right to left or crisscross. Let this feel delicious in your body. Therapeutic. If you do it fast, let that be because that's what feels good. Draw your right knee up toward your right armpit. Leave your left leg back and hold steady there. Just let that right hip open. Let it get flatter toward the ground, toward the earth. Is that, can you move that right knee in a way that it feels, first of all, safe. Second of all, that um, the thigh feels closer and closer to the ground. So the hip opens. And breathe into the lower back, back waist space. This area can get tight. The nerves, there's a lot of really important um, parasympathetic nerves there that can get all, all a jumble from our past, from our histories, from, and then the physical informs the present. Right, so the physical condition from our past conditioning um, will show up in our present and and misinform us to what is actually happening. In other words, things that maybe aren't 
so stressful or deadly can feel that way because we don't have access to these nerves. So here we we really are, there, we have a lot of reasons to want to smooth them out. You're going to come into a twist here. You're going to thread your left arm under you. So thread that, thread the needle with that left arm, and then you roll back into a twist. That right arm reaches behind you. So you're in that spinal twist, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And make it your own. You can let that left hand come to the upper right knee. Right arm looks, Elena, let that right shoulder go all the way to the floor and look at your tree plant there to the right. Stretch your right arm out and look to your window. There you go. Beautiful. Everyone, deep breath up into the chest. And exhale. Breathe. Telling your body that, giving your body the opportunity to learn safety. giving the wires a chance to smooth themselves out and heal, repair. As smoothly as you can, make your way back onto your tummy. You might send that top leg down and roll back onto your belly. And then bring your left knee up by your left armpit or whatever angle. You're all dealing with different joints and different angles are going to feel right for you. So starting at the inner eyeball, the inner eye, right, that connects to the bridge of the nose, going straight up over our head and down on either side of the spine is the urinary bladder meridian. It goes all the way down through the feet. And um, it carries our willpower. It has the energy of our will, but it also, when it's when we have fear, that fear travels like wildfire through our body, and it it takes that. That's one of the line tracks that it takes, and because it passes through all those parasympathetic nerves, um, it affect, there's a huge relationship here. So we want to let ourselves just be a puddle here. Let ourselves be water. And um, it go they govern the hips. This this meridian governs the hips, the bladder, um, our reproductive system, the brain, really all the endocrines. So just let it be at water. Especially if you're a fire sign, this is a fiery, fiery, fiery time. So take this time now to just soothe and smooth out. Feel the softness of the earth, the safety of this group the familiarity of my voice, gift of this practice. Really taking advantage of this shape. And then tuck your right arm under and move into that twist. Sort of a fun discovery like, oh, there it is. I've always been fascinated at how vulnerable dogs can be. Bruiser does this thing where he just, I mean, he's a giant kettlebell and he just hurls himself back kind of like you guys just did. And he just trust falls <laughs> back into people's laps, which is so funny and sweet. I don't think I could do a trust fall. It's not easy. Outer left hip rolling away from your waist, left shoulder heavy, breath full. Let your shoulders relax completely. And the shape of this pose allows us to detox at a faster rate. 
So it creates that kundalini spiral, which creates a feminine charge up through the spine and a shower of energetic, um, like the energy body, the auric body fills with light in this pose. And you're making the protection around you and the uh, magnetic field around you stronger. Reach through your left arm. You're going to roll onto your back and give yourself a huge hug. Close your eyes and feel into the security of your own body, this home where your soul, your spirit has chosen to live this life. Hug your knees into your chest and really thank this incredible body, this brilliant, incredible computer system we could never buy, no matter what they make. It will never be this. This is an incredible, incredible gift. Hug it, love it, cherish it. It's where your soul has chosen to spend this lifetime. And then start to stretch yourself out for Shavasana. So get comfy, whatever props or adjustments need to be made make them, whatever's going to be the safest, most comfortable place where you can truly let go. This isn't easy. And I have been, gosh, practicing for so much of my life that it's been interesting to watch over the years how things get harder, some things get easier. Letting go has gotten harder. I used to be able to do it really fast, maybe certain days, but overall it's harder. I think we're more plugged into the world where I am than I ever wanted to be. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Deeply breathe in. Really use the exhale to let the body get heavy. And to think about turning off of that deepest circuit breaker. And one more like that. Breathe in as deeply as you can. I'm going to ask you actually to hold at the top of that breath. And then sip a little more in. And an audible sigh out. And let go. And let go. And let go. The same couples therapist that pointed out my bias toward women yesterday gave me some homework, um, this book about testosterone. I think it might be called The Trouble with Testosterone. Or, I'm not sure. But um, I looked up the writer and he did this podcast with Huberman, who is my my latest crush. And um, and But it's, it's one of the earlier ones. And so Huberman is this doctor who is, obsessed with optimizing and, and figuring out the keys to life. And he's very much about neuroplasticity and uh, taking charge of our own life and making decisions to make our life better. I mean, that's his whole reason to live. And this guy that my therapist recommended I read um, believes in uh, that there's no free will. And Huberman like loves this guy because he's extremely well respected and was basically in tears by the end of the podcast as this guy laid out his his thesis that there's no free will because for Huberman that is the worst possible uh, truth that he could ever face because he's all about um, fighting through fighting and um, it was it was it was an interesting listen for sure and. I don't know, maybe there's some relief in knowing in thinking this, it's a tough concept to grasp, but what if there were no free will, that we were in some ways able to really let go of that fight and allow? Just a thought experiment, nothing you have to believe or lean too far into, just a moment of releasing to what is now and know that you have done enough. Nothing to do, nowhere to be. 
no one to become. Take a deep breath. Use your exhale to shed another layer of self. And merge. Into source. Take a deep breath in, feeling the outline or sense of your own energy field, and exhale. Deep breath in, feeling life coming online, and exhale. On your inhale, feel the body reaching, extending in all directions, feeling the elasticity, the neuroplasticity, of growth and change, a possibility of the highest timeline. Draw your left knee into your chest and roll to your right, cuddle up, cuddle into a little fetal ball. Snuggle into self and breathe into the back and imagine what that is to align with the highest, the timeline that is for your highest good, for your greatest, maximizing of your potential and all you do is step into it right step into that timeline quantum leap you're probably most likely already there call it in and hold that concept of that blueprint know that it is here and that you are in alignment with it and move through it breath by breath. Push down through your left hand as you rise to sit. And when you get there, find your seat and stillness. Raise the arms to the sky. Bringing the hands through prayer. The thumbs touch your mind, your lips. They pass in front of the throat and land in the center of the heart. Pushing through the palms, elbows go wide, feeling the power in the back. One arm together, inhale. We raise our heart song and we place it in the mind, thumbs to forehead center, bowing inward, thanking one another, thanking this planet, our community, ourselves, this practice. Thank you. Love you. See you guys soon.